Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm here at EICMA 2024, and I'm here at the Tucano Urbano stand, or T-U-R, I think, as they call themselves. Now, I don't normally do a lot of things about clothes because I kind of feel like you have to wear them. Uh, and I've often seen that stuff, especially here in Italy, where maybe it makes a bit more sense where, you know, people just use motor motorcycles or scooters just to get around. They do have some new laminated gear out that looks kind of interesting. So I thought I would show that to you while I'm here. Here we go. Uh, so I think what we see at the top there is the Elba Lady Vented Jacket, but it's the that Hydro Scud, which is a slightly interesting name, uh, down below, and also that Hydro Scud Jacket and Trousers. Now, uh, from the marketing spiel that came with this, I have no reason to believe it's not true, they've actually been designed to use the vents uh, while still staying waterproof. And for those of you who do ride in the rain, in the warm, you know, sometimes you want both. You want the ventilation and you want the waterproofing. This is the Supercell Hydrosco jacket. So as I mentioned, it does mention that it has this uh, water, waterproof airflow system, which is certainly something that is kind of interesting. You know, I do a lot of riding, uh, especially when I go to South America, where it's both warm and wet at the same time. So having, you know, gear where you could have the vents open fully, maybe, let's see what they have. I suppose one thing is they've got these vents on the inside of the sleeves. Uh, they've got those chest vents. Now I believe the way the chest vents work is that the airflow actually goes up, not down. I'm sure it would seep around it eventually, but it looks like there's waterproof stuff on both sides of the zip, which is all kind of cool. There's even a, a mesh piece within there, I suppose. I don't know where that would uh, let a bit of airflow through. So yeah, uh, that's kind of impressive. Gives the prices being 449 euros, which, okay, is not cheap. But up there with some of the more expensive jackets for a laminated suit, that's not bad at all. Uh, just show you on this side, they have their Waypoint Hydro Scud, which is their uh, three layer, not the two layer like the other one. A bit cheaper, 300, 300 euros. Uh, but again, comes with double A rating for abrasions. Uh, doesn't mention the, uh, the waterproof breathability, uh, which is a shame. Maybe that's what you're paying the extra money for on the other jacket. But yeah, still looks perfectly fine as an adventure style jacket. While I'm on the stand, now I know these are called uh, Leave It, Leave It. Apologies if I butchered that pronunciation. It's not a brand I've heard of. Uh, oh, Elevit maybe, that's what we're looking at. But yeah, those actually look quite cool. They're about 450, 500 euros a pair. Uh, if they're your size or if anyone actually wears one of these and if they make a waterproof one, uh, yeah, let me know. I'm sort of slightly curious. And as I'm here on their stand, I thought I would take a look. On the other side, they have some of their motor boots, which look a bit more sort of fashion orientated. But again, you know, look very solid. I quite like the look of those for a street boot. Uh, if you're on the market, or something like that. And last of all, here on the Tucano Urbano stand, uh, on the on the Tucano Urbano side, they have a lot more sort of streetwear, open face helmets. I see some airbag jackets, uh, and then even some stuff that actually you know you'd almost wear it as a regular regular jacket. It's something like that. It's a uh, yeah, that's like what I walk my dogs in. Uh, and last but by no means least, they have this section under Keep Me Warm with all sorts of heated gloves, just sort of heated overneck things, uh, heated gilet and some heated trousers down there at the end. So there you have it, that's a very quick look at the T-U-R, T-U-R, Tucano Urbano stand here at Eichmer 2024. It's kind of weird trying to do a video about a clothing stand, but hopefully that's been interesting to some people. Thanks for watching.